Hello. Hello and good afternoon. It is Wednesday afternoon at 2 o'clock. Remember, I explained last week that I would now begin uh, my new update on Wednesday and no longer on Thursday. So it is now Wednesday. We're going to have more of a midweek update. And so I'm excited about coming to you sooner. And so very excited about having the opportunity to kind of give you some things that are happening in the life of our church. So what I would encourage you to do right now is to go ahead and let me know you're watching. Everyone who's watching, just give me a thumbs up. I also encourage you to share this right now with someone else. So give me some thumbs up, a few comments if you want to. Uh, but go ahead and hit share because when you share this, somebody in the community, someone in the church, uh, then we'll have more people able to watch what's going on. So, once again, it is Wednesday. My name is Keith Cox, and I'm the lead pastor here at Clarksville First United Methodist Church. Now we've changed our days to Wednesdays, kept the same time on Wednesdays at 2. Um, several reasons why we've changed it. I think it's good to go ahead and give you some midweek information of what's going on in life for our church. Also, as you know, we're going to be coming back pretty soon. I'm going to tell more about uh, when we're coming back in person on Sundays and Wednesdays. So it'll just it'll, it'll make it flow a lot better. And also what I'm trying to do as far as my sermon preparation, just so you know, pretty much after this time, uh, my desire is to focus on sermon preparation. Uh, pretty much on, hey KK, pretty much on Sundays um, for Sunday. So basically it will be Wednesday from about 2.30 to 5 and then all day on Thursday. So that gives me a half a day, pretty much a half a day on Wednesday, a little, little less than half a day on Wednesday, and then my full day Thursday for my sermon time. So better than watching two <laughs> Sorry, I was just reading uh, KK's comment. She's watching an old SEC um, championship game of 2017. But go ahead, KK. Um, share this with somebody else and so let me go ahead and give you uh, some midweek information the most exciting thing that I have to share with you today is that we are coming back in person if you're not ready to come back it's okay uh, whenever you feel like it's best for you and your family for the health uh, the health of your family is very important but just so you know if you have not already heard we're coming back in person September 13th so not this Sunday. It'll be the Sunday after Labor Day. This is Labor Day weekend. Uh, it gave us more opportunity to get ready. We figured a lot of people will be traveling anyway. So we're going to take advantage of people traveling while we continue to get everything in order uh, for the 13th. So what does that look like? September the 13th, we'll come back. We'll have a 9 a.m. contemporary service in the connection. It will be live streamed. Uh, then we will have an 11 o'clock uh, traditional service in the sanctuary it will also uh, uh, be live stream um, there will be no Sunday school um, and but there will be a children's church as well as also a nursery so so parents can be looking forward to that as well now for my 830 families we have not forgotten you I haven't had a chance to really let you know what's going on so I will let you know now what's going on Right now, my plan or our plan as a staff and the leadership of the church is we will resume the 830. Uh, that will be the first Sunday in November. And I believe that's going to be uh, November the 1st. And the reason that we're doing that, let me let me make sure I have my, my dates correct. I do know that it is the very first Sunday in November, but let me concur that it is actually uh, the 1st. And so October, it is November the 1st. And the reason that we're going to come back on that Sunday is because that's going to be our All Saints Sunday. And we're going to use that Sunday to remember those church members who passed away this you know, a year from now. But also during COVID, we really have not had a chance to have funerals and to grieve and to be there for one another. So this year, especially All Saints Sunday is going to be a, it's going to be a going to be something else. Oh, I mean, it's just going to be a way to remember all those who passed away. So, so for my 830 families, just so you know, we will resume uh, 
8.30 starting November 1st. But September 13th, 9 o'clock contemporary in the connection, 11 o'clock traditional service and sanctuary. Both services will be live streamed. And if we have more people that um, is then we can put in the sanctuary of the connection, there will be an overflow. We still have to have social distancing and we still have to wear a mask. So, but for those who don't want to wear a mask, come back on Sunday nights at 6 p.m. We're going to be outside behind the fellowship hall on the field. We're going to have an outdoor service uh, to make it even more fun. We're going to actually provide a meal, like a picnic style meal. You need to call and make reservations uh, usually by that Thursday of that Sunday. So if the 13th is a Sunday, the 12th is a Saturday, the 11th you know, is a Friday, so the 10th. Uh, we get, if you by noon on that Thursday, that would be great. Uh, so you have a week and a day. Then that way I can let you know on Wednesdays too. So by noon on a Thursday before Sunday, that will be September the 10th. Um, or you can bring your own food, whatever you would like to do. And then at 6 o'clock, outside, no mask, unless you want to wear a mask. Going to be singing and preaching. It's going to be a, just, a very, just a very outdoor style, very... Just going to be a great opportunity to worship. Then, of course, that Wednesday night, we will come back on the 16th. We will have children's ministry, youth ministry, and adult discipleship. Now, guess what? I encourage you, when this is over with, go to our website. Get on your phone or your laptop. Type in ClarksvilleFirstUMC.org. ClarksvilleFirstUMC.org. And right on, the, right on the homepage, right on the homepage, let me show you what we did. Mike has done a fantastic job along with our staff and we have created dun, 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 we have a video let me show you check this out we actually have a video hello my name is keith Thomas. over here and I'm the lead we have here. a video hear me first. and in this video you get to hear me but also yes, all the staff has also talked about their certain guidelines there's a there's a video from paula there's a video from courtney uh, there's a video from Bailey, uh, there's a video from Jennifer, and there's a video from Christy. So all the areas are covered from our music ministry to older adults to children to youth and our discipleship. So don't do it right now, but wait after this update. Go to our website and then let people know about it. It's about an 11-minute video. It gives you a great insight of what's coming in September. So that's coming. Also, then also Christy wants me to announce for our older adults. There's going to be a scavenger hunt for our owls, our older, wiser, lively saints. It's going to be from 5 to 6. All you have to do is get in your car and drive. You will turn here in at the office. There will be signs made up with arrows, where to turn left, where to turn right. You'll go through and you'll have a little scavenger hunt. And there's items, certain things you have to find. So if you can get in your car and go to the grocery store, if you can get in your car and go out to eat, then you can get in your car and be a part of this kind of a fellowship fund uh, for our older adults. And if you go through, you know, you turn here at the office and go behind and come up and back to the fellowship hall, we, Christy has a very special prize and gift for you and your spouse. So please plan to be a part of that. That'll be a week from today, September the 9th, starting from 5 to 6. You don't have to be here right at 5. You can come at 5.05. 515, 520, 525, 523. You can come at 558, 559. It's only going to take you probably about three minutes, five minutes to go through and do all what we asked. So it's going to be a great, great event. Also, Jennifer wants me to let you know, Food to Kids. Now, for those who understand Food to Kids, you know what I'm saying. For those who do not understand that terminology, we are blessed at our church, and we uh, we. There's a team effort, there's a connection with other Methodist churches like Ebenezer and Cornelia and there's other United Methodist churches in our district up here in the in, in our area within like a five or ten mile radius. We all gather on Fridays over at um, Ebenezer UMC over in Hollywood, which is about, I don't know, roughly ten minutes from here. They gather at nine o'clock and what they do is they put food in bags, hint food to kids. And basically, you kind of get in a Congo line, you know, and you get the bag, and you stuff the bag, and you tie it up, and you put it on a table. And each table represents a different school. And then after that, people actually take them to the schools so that our children in our county 
can have food over the weekend. So, but we need to know who's going to be involved. So, contact the church office, contact Jennifer, email Jennifer. We need to have some numbers because we're still going to have to have to do some social distancing. So, um, please be a, be a part of that as well. Also, the preschool, as you know, in kindergarten class, has already, they're in their third week now. They're doing great. Every year, the preschool and, and our kindergarten program asked our members to sign up over to Ingalls. You know, that little Ingalls card that you get, that you scan. If you would go in and please, if you, if you, for those who shop at Ingalls, which there aren't many other choices around here. So if you would uh, uh, fill that form out. Matter of fact, Susan's going to have some of those forms uh, during the scavenger hunt. Fill that out. So that we know that they can get, um, that, so that it would help our preschool get free educational supplies. So please do that. Um, also, I want to make sure for our children's ministry, uh, Courtney wanted me to let you know that we're excited about the uh, Family Fun Day on September the 19th. It's going to be a Saturday at Camp Evergreen. It's free. Listen, it's free for our families, Katie and Toby Grady has generously blessed our families, our children and their families, with a free ministry event at Camp Evergreen. And all you have to do is register and put CFUMC FUN, capital letter, all caps, all capital letters, CFUMC FUN. It's going to be out in the woods. It's going to be very safe physically. It'll be safe. It'll be fun. It'll be safe from everything. It'll be social distancing. It's going to be a great weekend. So it's just a Saturday, just a one-day event. Um, just email Courtney or call Courtney if you have any more questions. And I'm very excited about that. So, here we go. We've had our Wednesday updates. Now, I always save the sermon information for the end. Uh, but today, I'm going to let it be a surprise. Um, this Sunday, you're going to have a, a there's going to be a surprise uh, for this Sunday sermon. I, I don't want to give anything away. Uh, I know that you're going to be, uh, you're going to enjoy the music. You're going to enjoy the message. Uh, but that's all I can say. Just tune in on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. You can do Facebook. If you don't have Facebook, you can still go to Facebook backslash Clarkson First UMC, and you can watch it that way. Uh, this will be our last just online. Now, when we come back on the 13th, we'll still live stream, so it'll be good too. But I don't want to, usually I read the scripture and tell you what's going on, but it's going to be a very special sermon for everybody. I know you're going to enjoy it very, very, very much. So, hoping, hoping you can tune in. If you don't tune in live at 10, you can watch it later Sunday in the in the morning or in the evening or throughout the week. And to do this for me, uh, please share either these updates with people or make sure after you watch a sermon or while you're watching a sermon or worship service to share that with family and friends or people in the community. Uh, it'll be a good way to let people know who we are. And look, I'm hoping that now we'll come back in person that who knows, there may be individuals and families that we have never learned about our church or ministry except through the online services. And now that we're coming back, if they're ready and when they're ready, they're going to have a church home. They're going to be comfortable. They're already going to you know, know and the staff and from the music, from Courtney, Miss Paula, and myself. And you know, for those who've been watching and never been in person, you're going to, when you walk in the doors, you're going to feel like uh, you know everybody just by, by viewing online. So I'm excited about that. I think, I really think our church will grow. Uh, hear me say this. I want to thank everyone for the last 24 weeks, six months, uh, for your prayers, for your support, for being patient, for being flexible, for your giving. Financially, our, our church has continued to do very well. Um, and that's exciting because there are a lot of churches who haven't done it as well as we are. So I'm very grateful that we're able to continue to do ministry. We'll continue to serve others. We're able to continue to help others. So thank you for your support. Continue. Um, we still need folks to continue uh, to give. You can give um, through our online giving, or you can, we send envelopes. You can mail it back, or in just a few weeks, you can do give in person. So again, thank you so much. Have a great day. Have a safe weekend. If there's anything I, I can ever do for you and your family, please call me, please text me, please email me. And uh, can't wait for this Sunday because I promise you, you're going to uh, you're going to enjoy this message this Sunday. And then on the 13th, I'll get to see some of you in person. Have a great day and God bless.